and welcome to this new video tutorial of Aiden Payment Gateway for the WooCommerce platform and in today's video tutorial we'll be showing you the customer workflow how the customers would be able to uh, make use of the Aiden Payment Gateway for placing the orders uh, within the web store itself apart from that we'll also be showing you how the admin can configure the initial settings that are required for this particular payment plugin and uh, the different options as well. Mm -hmm. Apart from that, we'll also be showing you the refund procedure that can be used by the admin to make a refund to the customer bank account uh, when a refund request is generated by the customer uh, from his uh, own account panel. So uh, now let's get ahead and let's see how this particular plugin or the payment plugin works at the uh, WooCommerce web store. So for that, I'll just take you to the front end now. So here I'm at the web store front end on the uh, login page and from here on the left hand side I'll enter my username password out for the customer account and I'll tap on the login button. Then after you can see that I've logged into my account here and now let's go to the shop page where I'll be adding a few products. Let me add this. Let's add this one, this one and this one. Let me go to this, this drop down for the cart and tap check out here and that will navigate us to the checkout on the left hand side all of the details are auto filled for my account on the right hand side we have the order details with the four products and their complete total now here you can see that uh, the uh, customer would be able to choose the Aiden uh, payment method as well so for that just tap here and after uh, tapping the Aiden uh, payment gateway here. you just need to tap here on the place order button and that will bring up this uh, particular pop-up wherein we can uh, or the customer can enter his account uh, or the uh, card details so you can see that we have reference number how we want to pay so there's already one card that I've uh, entered otherwise we can choose the other ones as well so for now what I'll doing is I'll be uh, entering my uh, CVV number for the card that I have entered here Okay, uh, let me do one thing. Let me uh, enter my credit card details manually and not by selecting the already uh, uh, used cards here. So for that, I'll just enter the uh, the card details first. And after entering my uh, credit card details, I'll just tap here on the uh, pay 71 amount. And after that, the uh, customer needs to uh, authenticate. Uh, for that, he needs to enter the uh, password. So let me enter the password so i'll just tap here and i'll tap my password and thereafter i'll just uh, tap on the submit button you can see that the payment uh, was successful now let me tap here on the continue button and you can see that the order has been received and the order number is 131 and aiden payment method was chosen within the uh, woocommerce web store the total and the product details as well so that was how the customer would be able to place the orders within your WooCommerce uh, store uh, by using their credit or debit cards and how they can access the uh, aid in payment method at the time of checkout so now let's go to the admin backend panel panel and let's see how the admin would be able to initially configure this particular plugin for use so the admin also needs to have an account at the Aiden so as to set up the different uh, IDs and the uh, other required details. So here I'm at the backend for the WooCommerce store. I'll enter my username and password and tap login button. And then I'll be navigated to my dashboard. Now the uh, admin needs to go to the WooCommerce section and from here he'll go to uh, the settings. And on the settings page, uh, we need to navigate to the payments tab here. We need to tap that up. And that brings up the complete payment methods here within the WooCommerce store. And lastly, we have the add-in. Add -in, and we can enable that so as to receive payments uh, for using the add-in uh, gateway itself. And uh, we just need to tap here on the manage button under the column here. And this brings up the initial configuration settings for the Aiden. And you can enable or disable that. Uh, check this option uh, for enabling, otherwise, uncheck it to disable it. Set the title 
that is visible to the customers set the description choose the uh, mode as sandbox or production sandbox is the testing mode and the production is the live mode so if i choose sandbox right now i need to enter all the info here for the merchant account username password api key client encryption key and the test library token uh, for the test uh, for the test uh, what we say as the account and if i uncheck this uh, option that is uh, enable edge in sandbox then i need to enter my live uh, details uh, and the live merchant account username password api key live client encryption key and the live library token so for now we'll be do doing it as a sandbox mode and here under the payment method you can choose uh, the payment method whether you want to use it as a payment links or authorized pay payment so uh, basically you need to select uh, either you uh, if you want to authorize payments or buy payment link and uh, thereafter you need to enter your merchant account the username for that the test password the api key client encryption key and the test library token and thereafter just tap here on the save changes button and that way you can configure the initial uh, settings for uh, the uh, payment methods as the add-in payment uh, method for the woocommerce store and now whenever a customer uses that uh, in, uh payment method for making the payment the admin can check that particular product by navigating to woocommerce and then orders as you can see right now and here you can see that the uh, payment was uh, via Aiden and uh, the date and the customer IP as well now from here the admin can also make a refund by tapping here the refund button and that brings up the uh, section and here we can restock the refunded items as well so uh, to add the refund amount we need to choose the quantity that is going to be returned uh, so I'll just make one 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 for each and uh, you can see that the refund amount is 71 you can also set up the uh, reason for the uh, refund and uh, thereafter for example if I type uh, did not like the product and uh, to instantly uh, make a refund uh, you can tap here on the refund uh, the amount via add-in so I'll just tap on that and uh, thereafter I need to tap on the OK button and then you can see the uh, uh, the info here like paid by customer 71 and the refunded amount so uh, that was much about the add-in payment gateway for the WooCommerce platform and I hope it helped you out and if you still have any questions or queries regarding this particular plugin then you can get back to us at support at the rate of webpool.com or you may raise a ticket at webpool.us.com and I've just added the uh, user guide as well so you can go through that uh, for uh, setting up your uh, plugin that's the aid in payment gateway for the WooCommerce platform very easily and thanks for watching this particular video